Hi, I'm here to introduce you to the GRID method. It is a competency-based system that is self-paced. It is designed for you to be an active learner rather than a passive recipient. When you proceed through this process, you will get invaluable skills. You need to be organized. You need to prioritize. Uh, you need to be responsible for your own learning. I will be there right beside you. I will help you. I will facilitate. Um, and I will support you however I can through this new format. I will also look to you for feedback um, on everything from the videos to notes uh, to the activities and even to the assessments. Um, I, I look for your feedback so I can make this the best that it can be. I'm excited about this. Uh, I spent a lot of time getting ready for it, so let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I've got um, unit zero. Throughout the semester, you'll have um, five units zero and then one through five. The zero one is just the introduction. So you can see here the grid method is composed of three to five levels. And within each level, there are different tasks um, in the grid or in the boxes that you need to do. Um, as you work through, you must start at 1A, then go to 1B, then go to 1C. And once you are done with those boxes of level one, then the, at the end, there will be some kind of assessment, maybe a quiz or some activity um, about that level. As soon as you finish level one, then you can proceed to level two. So you can see this one is called strategic thinking. At the beginning here will be um, kind of the, uh, the objective for this level. And each level then, again, you need to work through each box as you go across for level two you need to do everything in the box, and when you are done with that, then you will proceed to the end, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, which is um, the assessment type. Um, again, here's another level that you'll need to go through, level three in this case. When you're done with all of that, um, then you can proceed on to unit one. Now, you cannot skip around on the boxes. The, the great thing about this is that it, um, it is very hierarchy. It, you have to go through each box um, before you can proceed to the next one. Okay, that's the, about the only way that you're going to be successful is if you can do that. Here's the transformation for, I'm sorry, here's the unit one about transformations. Okay, these will all be posted in Google Classroom. I'll post one at a time. Unit one um, will start today. Okay, so you can see here there's some information at the top that you'll want to look through. Again, as you go through, um, each grid has different levels. Each level has different tasks for you to complete. Yes, you must complete all of them. You must pass your assessment at the end with 70% or more. That's where the competency is. You have to show me that you know what you did. Once you're finished and I have okayed 1D, then you'll go on to level two. Okay, and again, you can kind of see the format uh, for this first one is pretty straightforward. There's a video to watch. Um, there are notes um, that you can take, um, and then there's practice for you to do. This is all on your own time. This is for you to prioritize to go through that. When you're finished with that, then you go on and you take the assessment. Okay, all the assessments in this first one anyway, are online and you can take them as many times as you want. Your grade is based on not these boxes or these grids, but your grade will be based on the very last thing here called the unit test, okay? So I'm gonna stop there and then I will be back uh, to show a little bit more something.